you might think that humans evolved from apes, such as gorillas and chimps. But you're wrong. Humans did not evolve from apes, but share a common ancestor that lived millions of years ago. We're not sure who this ancestor was, but we do know they diverged over time to form different species of hominin. So a hominin is anything that's more closely related to humans than it is to other apes. And there are characteristics in all hominins that we see, such as small canines, which if you look at other apes, they have very large, kind of pointy, conical-like canines. We have ones that are more diamond shape and small. And of course, the other weird thing about humans is that we walk on two feet habitually all the time. So other apes do sometimes walk on two feet, like if they're wading through water or if they're carrying things, but we do it all the time. There are thousands of fossils documenting progressively more human-like species over time. One of the most famous is Lucy, a collection of Australopithecus afarensis bone fossils discovered in 1974. She lived in Ethiopia 3.2 million years ago. Australopithecines like her are the earliest undisputed members of our lineage to regularly walk upright. But as far as we know, the earliest fossils that we have for which people have argued that they are hominins, more closely related to us, go back about seven million years. We have a much better fossil record starting from about four million years ago. And this, at this point, we see hominins, we see organisms that definitely are bipedal. These all come from Africa, most of them coming from East Africa, but a lot of them coming from South Africa as well. So there are additional early Homo sapiens fossils from East Africa dating to about 200,000 years ago and others from another site dating to 160. So we know that at least in this 160 to 300,000 year time period, we have Homo sapiens. While it is likely humans might have originated in Africa, they eventually ended up spreading across the globe. And it wasn't just us, aka Homo sapiens either. There were other species of hominin thousands of years ago, including the famous Neanderthal, but these other hominins all died out. And eventually, modern humans leave Africa perhaps around 100,000 years ago, and then there's subsequent dispersals 60,000 years ago that looks like it may have led to Australia and places in Asia, and then one maybe 50,000 years ago, a little bit later, where these Homo sapiens move into Europe, but there's points where you have three hominin species living at the same time, and there are the points where there's two species, and it's not until about 30 or 40,000 years ago that you just have one. So we've been the only species for, for, for that long. Human evolution still continues, though it is hard to perceive. With rapid advancements in technology, in the future, we might be able to decide exactly how we evolve.